everybody. Yeah, I'm just working on some candle holders. These are going to be for three and a half inch wide pillar candles. Um, once again, folks, I'm trying another clay out. <laughs> Um, it's from Earthstone. It's said to be good for Raku. It's uh, heavily grubbed with molochite. Um, I like it, but it really gets mushy quick. And because it's quite grippy on the hands, you have to use a lot of water. So <laughs> you're kind of battling against yourself in a way. Um, that's all I've got left. I'm going to let this stiffen up a bit more before I use it. So I'm going to have another go at one, some of my crusty old buff stoneware, see how it compares. Um, but what else I've been working on folks, some more um, scent burners, um, candle melt scent burners. <coughs> to go up against the wall, uh, the wood vases that I used to make. Or on the wall. Um, this idea I got from the Steve Booten video. He rolls a coil of clay out and throws it on a piece of wood for the texture. My children said it looks like something the cat's left behind. <laughs> so you can always rely on your kids for honesty. <laughs> yeah, so I won't be able to look at that in the same way again now. Never mind. Okay, try another one pound and a half this is my recycled first time I've used it since wedging it feels nice I'm surprised if I find a, a nut my back pins in some of it I lost some and my recycled clay I keep down here I think the nut was in my splash pan and scooped the clay out and chipped it in the bag. I hope I find it before it goes in the kiln. <laughs> Straight down to the wheel head with my fingers. But then lift my fingers up slightly to leave a bit of a floor. So, I think most stoneware clay raccoons, to be honest, I don't think they the, the heavy grog. I had some success with some smooth uh, stone clay. Folks, I think I said I wedged some silica sand into this. <clears throat> Could help.
maybe I left the base a little bit on the wide side, but I think a reassuring base on candle. A thick base is reassuring on candle holders. more detail maybe down here. Yeah, I don't know whether to make them elaborate or leave them simple, folks. <laughs> Guess everybody has different tastes. Make a nice cobbler. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if I mentioned these are going to be raccooned with a clear crackle glaze on. So hopefully my buckets turn out turn up soon and I'm gonna sun's out for a change, so these are gonna be put outside to dry up dry a bit quicker. Okay, thanks for watching folks. Bye for now. <laughs>